सो हे गाइज सो दिस वीडियो इज फॉर एनीबडी हु वॉन्ट्स टू स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इज न्यू टू द सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री एंड एज नो वेज टू स्टार्ट सो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग हाउ एक्जैक्टली वेब वर्क वॉट इज अ वेब ब्राउजर हाउ यूर कंटेंट द वेब कंटेंट दैट यू ट्रांसफर ओवर टू द ब्राउजर हाउ दैट गोज ऑन सो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑल ऑफ दैट हाउ डज द डी एन एस रेजोल्यूशन वर्क वॉट इज अ वेब सर्वर वॉट इज अप्लीकेशन सर्वर वेयर डज द डेटा सेट सो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑल दोज कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड द थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू दैट सो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सिंपल क्लाइंट सर्वर आर्किटेक्चर सो सो हेयर इज अ क्लाइंट एंड हेयर इज अ सर्वर राइट सो अ क्लाइंट नीड्स द डेटा एंड सर्वर हैज द डेटा सो अ क्लाइंट हैज टू रिक्वेस्ट फॉर द डेटा एंड देन इन टर्न सर्वर वी विल रिस्पॉन्ड विद द रिस्पॉन्स ओके सो आई टेक एन एग्जाम्पल हियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर अ कस्टमर एंड वॉट गो टू द मार्केट सो इन दिस केस यू आर अ क्लाइंट राइट सो दिस इज अ कस्टमर एंड ही वॉन्ट्स टू गो टू द मार्केट प्लेस Uh, I'm just depicting by this uh, boxes that this is the market, right? So he goes here to purchase some items, and then he comes back uh, with the items, right? So the architecture here, when the customer goes to the market, so customer is the client, market is the server because it has the uh, things that you want, and here also. client asked for the data and server is returning back the response so it is similar to the real life example okay so when you as a developer write something in html css javascript or any other language you write that code you write that piece of code and when you run it in the browser so your browser right it can be anything it can be chrome safari etc etc so this browser will be able to interpret your content that you have written here and they will be able to display that in a web page theek okay? hai with some uh text boxes with some buttons where you can click right so this kind of content will be available in the browser right so this is how your browser is able to interpret the html css javascript that you are writing Okay. Now I'll be explaining uh, what are the different kinds of uh, websites that you can have, right? So I'll be explaining that. So there are static websites and dynamic websites. So when I say static, so static means the content there is fixed. So if you look at a static website, it can be uh, your resume, for 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 instance, your resume, your website about yourself, where the data doesn't. doesn't actually change much so you can write a, your own description your own data that you'll be able to write and this is static this this is not changing with time and even if it change you can go back change your code and can redeploy that so these kind of websites do not need to change themselves by the user interaction or they do not need to populate some kind of data dynamically so this is an example of these static websites whereas the other kind of uh, websites are dynamic websites so i'll explain that with this one with an example so for example you visit amazon.in or amazon.com right so here when you search for a item you do searches so this item list is being populated based on your searches also if there are offers running and all of that then this content will change and they have also built in personalization for example if you have done certain purchases uh, in the in the history they'll be able to display all of that here and they'll also have cards etc etc so this this is a content which is changing with time right this is being populated uh, with the user interaction when i'm i'm typing something the data is getting changed right so this is an example of the dynamic websites so now i'll i talk about how to host uh, these kind of websites so for example a static website so this is nothing but something which is placed at some location which i will call it as a server like as as we have seen earlier so this will be placed there and you you as a client will be requesting the web and it will give the, that content back to you and your web uh, web browser will be able to interpret it and show it to you 
okay so this static websites you can host it uh, on any of the web server so when i say web server it is a server which is running there and you put your web code here just in the layman terms so uh, so examples here you can simply host that in the github pages right or you can take buy some space or can host your own server and you can place that content there and you your client would be able to uh, take it from that okay so only a web server is required in case of static websites whereas for the dynamic websites some other components are also being added for example i have this static content right this is placed on some web server right but i also have another server which is called application server where my logic sits so for example if i am doing some searches so the request uh, i am as a client i am always interacting with the web server the web server here right so i will be interacting with the web server i will be sending my request there but web server in turn would call the application server and get back the data and will display it to you so this is how the dynamic content is being fetched right this application server it as it needs to maintain some state it needs to store some data so it will it will be storing the data in some kind of data source so i'm calling it data source because it doesn't have to be a specific kind of uh, you know database so it can be a file storage system theek okay? hai okay or it can be a database as well or any other kind of data sources okay so your application server in turn talks to the data source layer so in the dynamic websites there are mainly three components that you the, you will be building uh, in your future uh, projects so there will be a web server which is hosting your static content when the client is requesting and if there is any user interaction or there is a dynamic content that is being fetched from the application server whereas application server the data which it stores it stores in some kind of data source which in turn it is getting from there it is serving you here so this is how the you know basic basic architecture of a dynamic website would look like so now we'll talk about uh, how exactly this client is able to reach to a particular server location is there some kind of addressing there uh, for example if i am writing a letter to somebody i'll write it with a address right so how is this client able to reach this location so we'll be talking about that. so we are back to our client server architecture so here is our client he wants to access the data which is stored on the server right so so server has a ip address associated with him with himself so th this is you can say this is the address this is the web address okay so if client knows this address he will be able to type this address into his browser and he will be able to talk to this guy using this address so client will use this address right let's say in a web browser he is typing this address okay let's say with a port also i'll talk about what is a port in further videos we'll be knowing that okay so client with this address is able to reach to the server and ask for the content and then in turn the server is able to return the data to the client because server doesn't have to know about the client whereas the client has to know about the server because client client is making the request in the same in the response of same request server will be able to send the response so actually server does not have to know the client before it okay so the request this is the response right so don't you think this is quite hard to remember would you always be able to remember all these uh, website will you will you be able to remember youtube is it easy to remember youtube google.com amazon.in or is it easy to remember this kind of ip addresses so so there is something else also involved here which is keeping a mapping of those names which are easy to remember which are catchy right and these hard addresses okay so that is called dns so dns is domain name server so you can think of this as a directory a telephone directory where by name you can search for the telephone number for example so here so it will be like a telephone directory where you have keys and values 
and key being uh, the web address that you know for example amazon.in google.com etc etc and here in the values there will be those hard addresses for example i will take the same one 200 and 100 so you don't have to remember this whereas you can remember this and this directory will tell you using this name which ip address can you reach so whenever we want to host a website we take a web server usually i will talk about only the static website here we'll take we'll take a web server for example we can go to godaddy go to amazon and take a web server host a web server there but we will also have to purchase this name so this is called the dns name so we'll have to buy this from a dns provider for example godaddy or amazon root root 53 so these are dns providers so from these dns providers you'll have to tell them that you uh, that can you in your dns directory can you mention my name and my ip like this so they will maintain this dns server and you'll pay the, pay them for that okay so then you'll be able to when you type in your browser for example next time when the client wants to access something from the server he'll just type for example the amazon.in right so this request is not directly going to the server this will first go to the dns okay so there are other things also involved so browser is browser sometimes caches the dns entries and all of that we don't want to get into that complexity here so it will be going to the dns and dns will be telling this that this is the ip address so this will be telling that if you want to reach amazon.in you can go here so client will use this ip address right and this ip address here and it will be able to reach the server directly and server will be able to respond back with the response okay so this is the basic client server architecture how client is able to uh, get the data from the server so that's all i had actually so please uh, let me know in the comments if you want to know more and let's discuss uh, the open questions that we have